Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Chuck Spisano, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about this book. Um, the Mirror of Your Soul is both a practical book and an informative book. To me, uh, what's important is that we can use information uh, which is of the mind to create transformation which is of the heart. So all of my books are meant to you know, inform you about what's really going on. And what I do is I take people into the subconscious mind and show what's hidden and then into the unconscious mind which is our very soul. Now, <clears throat> what this book does is it shows how everything in the world is a great mirror. And that basically if you want to change things, you don't go and start, you know, trying to change a mirror. If, if you didn't like the movie on the screen, you wouldn't go up to the movie screen and try to change it. You would go back to the, to the booth where they're shooting the movie. Um, <clears throat> or um, you wouldn't you know, just necessarily go up and try to change the mirror. You change the man in the mirror. You change yourself. And how you change yourself that reflects the world is what makes up the world is our wishes, our thoughts, and our self-concepts. And those are mostly embedded in our unconscious mind. And so there just this book shows ways where you can, you know, take the people around you and then reflect back on where it's coming from in you and to heal yourself. So if you're not happy, you know, basically it's all about healing yourself. And if you're not happy with the people around you, it's about changing your mind. If you change your mind, you change the world. So the book has all kinds of methods and techniques about doing that. Having been a therapist for 42 years, for me it's important that as the Native American sun bear said, it has to grow corn. It has to be practical. It has to be something people can use in their everyday lives to make a shift for the better because there has to be a better way. So the book is, <clears throat> it's part of the transpersonal aspect of psychology and healing. You know, it, it recognizes that we're essentially spiritual beings and that we're learning how to be happy and to love more and to have, have a better life and have a better life for those around us. So this book is, you know, reaching into that realm of the spiritual, but from the basic stuff of where our everyday lives are. So that's the book. And um, on this upcoming tour in Europe, um, I'll be in Basel and, uh, for a lecture in a three-day, Basel, Switzerland, and then in Munich for a, um, a lecture in a three-day, and then I'll be in... Frankfurt for a lecture in one day, and then I'll be in Bonn for a lecture in a three day. And so during that time, you know, this, this whole theme develops. You know, basically I do a, a mostly a different lecture every place to keep myself entertained, because that's the main thing, is how to, how to have it be creative each time, how to have it be new and fresh, and the, and the material be alive, given, you know, what the audience is and what they need, and what's going on. So uh, that's going to be the lecture tour and I really, you know, if you'd like to come along um, to one of the lectures or to the one day workshop in Frankfurt or the three day workshop in, uh, in any of the other places, you know, come and see what it's like. Because in three days people, you know, just divest themselves of problems and they find a way to come together in, in their mind, in their heart, with the, their families and their workplaces and, and with the people in the workshop. And it's, it's always a happening. It's always creative. It's always something new. So that's the upcoming tour. Come on along.